Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'd like to show you guys a little illustration that I made for a book plate. Um, some of you guys might know what a book plate is, but some of you might also not know what a book plate is. I didn't know until recently and I googled what it was and was super inspired by it. Um, so a book plate is basically um, something that people used back in the day um, to label books as theirs, or like claim books as theirs. Um, a lot of people will buy or make um, stickers or stamps um, or stamping blocks that have these illustrations on them, and they will stamp the inside cover of the book um, and write their name underneath, or it will be, their name will be on the um, book plate itself. And yeah, so I googled some illustrations that people had done um, in like the 1800s, 1900s of book plates, and they are so cool! I love black and white illustrations so much. Um, I stopped doing a lot of black and white stuff because I felt like it wasn't as popular, but I think I'm going to start doing more of it again because it's just, line art is what I really like doing. So. I'm going to be doing a lot more of that sort of stuff. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. <laughs> it was kind of just something... I don't know, I'm I'm normally too busy trying to make stuff for um, putting up at the shop. Um, but I f forget that I can make things that are just personalized to me. So I was really excited to make this. <laughs> um, the design is a mermaid with multiple arms and a paintbrush. Um, or a siren, I guess. And I have this as a tattoo. If you guys have seen my tattoo video, um, I have her as a tattoo. Uh, she's some something that I think represents what I want to be or parts of who I am and stuff. Um, so I felt like it was fitting to put inside of my books. So yeah, um... I wanted to have a good balance between the positive and negative space, so I made the top part more white and the bottom more black, and um, having characters with black hair really helps with this. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I played around a little bit with, um, oh god, I'll never remember the name, Clip Paint Studio, Clip, Clip Studio Paint. I played around with the, the reflection ruler, um, I'll have to check what it's called, but it basically mirrors one side of what you do, and it's really good for little things like this that you don't want to draw the same thing twice. Um, so yeah, I used it at the beginning there with the peonies on the top um, part, and I also used it on the bottom with the ribbon. So that really came in handy. I really like using that, and I'll definitely be using that more in the future. Um, I The reason why I can't think of what it's called right now is because I'm not at my computer. <laughs> uh, I will do a video soon of little things that I've learned about Manga Studio or Clip, Clip Studio Paint. Clip Paint? Whatever it's called. Um, I'll do a little, uh, I guess, tutorial on it. I don't know a whole lot about it, but a lot of things I do know from it are things that I've learned in Photoshop and have just, like, the common sense from that has just kind of carried on to Mega Studio. So, yeah, uh, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing something like that. And I will definitely, I will definitely put something up. So, I took a couple of quick videos at night um, after I was finished doing these, and I... <laughs> I was so excited I put them in like all of my books. They're a really good idea for sketchbooks actually and if you leave enough space like if you leave the bottom um, as white and have like a big space for you to sign it and fill it in you could even like put the date um, from when you started and finished the sketchbook. I don't know just makes it kind of cute I guess <laughs> but I, I imagine there's a lot of things you could use these for. Um, I imagine you can also make the the bottom all black as well and just go in with like a white um a white like gel pen kind of like the the I think it's like a pilot pilot pen that I use 
um, that would be pretty good uh, to sign on the black. And I just did it on cheap sticker paper, uh, since it was just for me. I wasn't really all that concerned about the quality being amazing. But uh, yeah, you guys could also make these things into stamps as well if you really wanted to. That would be pretty awesome. But uh, yes, this is like... I've been doing a lot of really short sketches recently because I I don't know what it is. I just I feel maybe like I'm kind of tired from the big Japan sale and everything. And uh, I, all I can think of is Japan, so I just... I've just been doing random little sketches just to kind of keep the gears turning, I suppose, and to keep posting things for you guys, but um, I'm also in one of those weird little, like, uh, those weird lulls where your perception of what is good looking in terms of art is growing, and therefore your art is, like, lagging behind, so you need to, like, catch up to feel like your work is better. So I've been <laughs> I've been in one of those lulls and it just feels so gross. But I feel like it's it's really strange cuz normally when I work on traditional stuff, I I feel a lot better, but lately digital stuff has been kind of making me feel better about about myself. So I've been doing lots of weird digital things. Um I worked on Chiara a bit. Uh, my comic, so I'm I'm really feeling good about that and everything, but uh, I'm I'm hoping this Japan trip will be good. I haven't traveled a whole lot, um, so I think I think when you're stuck inside your apartment or your studio, or you're stuck at the same job over and over again, it's just I don't think there's enough going into your brain to to really create anything new. So I want I want to put new stuff in my brain, you know? Like I I look at a lot of pictures and I watch a lot of movies and stuff and those are all very inspiring. But I think there's a lot to be said from going somewhere different or just going anywhere like into the forest or wherever and just like actually taking it in, you know? Not just going around, walking around and looking at it, but sitting down and like staring at it and drawing it, sketching it. So I think I need to start doing that. And I think I need to start cataloging different animals and bugs and different things that I have in my memory that I can know how to draw them so I can start using new things instead of the same old things, you know? So... There's a lot of plants and stuff that I'm going to start learning to draw. Um, And I just want to... I just want to kind of expand my mental visual dictionary, I guess. (laughs) If I draw something enough times, I'll remember how to do it. And I love drawing women. And there's only so many things that you can draw around the women, right? Um, I love doing things in a very surreal manner, so I want to add more surreal elements to my figurative paintings, to add more um, just variety, I guess, because after a while you do get bored um, doing the same thing and you wonder if other people are getting bored. Well, I don't really care if other people are getting bored because I'll always do, like, draw and paint what I want to paint, because otherwise, what's the point? But I I also want to make sure that I'm not getting bored of doing the same thing over and over again. Because also, what's the point? Like, it's got to be interesting, I think. Um, unless I enjoy it. In which case, if I'm bored, I won't enjoy it as much. So, yeah. Um, i got to increase the vocabulary. I've been investing in books. Um, like, snake books books, reptile books, wildflower books, and you can go to like the old, you know, those old bookstores with like used books that are super duper cheap, and you can get stuff like that for crazy cheap, and really good, um, really good books too. I got a book on trees and wildflowers from a shop in Kamloops uh, when I was visiting, and the shop was so messy, the guy's desk was like overflowing with just crud, 
<laughs> and uh and yeah I got some books for super cheap and they've been amazing like the one wa- wildflower book I have is like illustrations of wildflowers which is great because uh you can see how somebody else has used their medium to create the the wildflower so I don't know I think it's pretty interesting and I I like seeing um I like seeing those botanical illustrations and stuff they're very inspiring as well so yeah I think I'm gonna go through those and start just like forcing myself to do studies you know I'm just checking to see how much time I have left here but yeah um (laughs) yeah I I uh I'm not at my computer because Lopi's watching a movie, so I'm trying to be quiet. And I'm recording in the bedroom because why not? <laughs> so I'm just checking my phone to make sure I don't go past the time. Um, but yeah, I definitely... It's it's hard to make yourself sit down and actually study things. Um, a lot of times you just want to draw what's inspiring. But I think after a while you just have to tell yourself, like, okay, you need you need to add some new stuff here. Um, you know, unless you're really happy doing what you are used to doing, then that's totally fine. Obviously, I've, I've been doing that for a long time because that's my comfort zone, but I feel like I really need to get out of that comfort zone, especially since I'm starting comics. I really need to get out of that comfort zone. Um, there's a lot that, uh, that I'm going to have to learn with comics and I can't just keep putting it aside, I need to start learning a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, (laughs) I'm, I'm facing, I'm facing up to my, uh, my bad habits of, of not doing studies. (laughs) So yes, I am going to be doing a lot of those and trying to incorporate them. And I'm hoping this Japan trip will really expand, expand my mind. Um, I did live in Thailand for a while, but I didn't really take things in because I was working all the time inside of my apartment. (laughs) But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. We are running out of time here. Um, Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more. And stay tuned for a lot of Japan vlogs when I return. Okay, thanks guys. Bye!